cancer is still a big problem despite all the progress we have made really we haven't uh, hit most of the advanced uh, cancer types the un, it's an unfortunate truth so in this project we asked a question whether we can genetically manipulate the bacteria which live in our gut in our colon to train them and make them uh, potentially cure cancer so most of this work was done in mice, not in humans yet, but we did have both mouse and human um, tumor types. And what we found that if we manipulate or genetically engineer a particular strain of uh, bacteria called E. coli DH5-alpha, which is a strain derived from a patient, from a patient's uh, gut flora, we express these highly activating molecule called cytokines, in particular one uh, version of the cytokine called Ducoy resistant IL-18, when we express that on the cell surface, on the outer membrane of E. coli, this particular strain, and then inject into mice bearing either colon cancer or melanoma. In both the cases, we saw dramatic reductions in the tumor growth. But more importantly, when we combined this therapy with anti-PD-1, which is a checkpoint blockade, we saw many mice, more than 50%, get cured of the cancer. So these dramatic responses were um, somewhat unexpected, but when we analyzed the sample, we found that when these bacteria are injected to the mice, systemically, meaning into intravenous route, they find their way into the tumors and they thrive there. They live there for up to 10 days. And during those 10 days, they highly activate the local immune cells, including T cells and NK cells, and make them really voraciously target the cancer cells. So this, these findings are pretty interesting and novel. And we think that we should test them in an early phase clinical trial. Of course, you know, not everything which works in a mouse model works in, in humans, but based on the promising results, especially the fact that it works so well and even better than the um, FDA approved therapy for these cancers, which is PD-1 blockade in this mouse model, this gives us a hope that in a clinical trial, we see very good responses with this, with this regimen. Now, these are bacteria, and you may wonder whether it will be safe to inject live bacteria into people. As a matter of fact, this particular strain has no toxin islands, and it also does not mediate any recombination with other bacteria. So it cannot pass on its uh, genetic material to other bacteria, and also cannot get um, any resistance genes from other bacteria. And the fact it does not have any toxin islands means that it's relatively, it's gonna be very safe. Um, and in the mouse model, we did a dose to iteration so as long as we stayed in a, in, in a given dose, it was safe, the mice did well, they did not have any major side effects. Um, and yet in those dose ranges, they were effective. So bottom line is yes, there will be a ceiling effect, but uh, we expect based on the results that the that ceiling will be um, up above the therapeutic range. So we can still use them safely and effectively without hitting the ceiling in patients. Uh, this is a project which was led by um, our outstanding uh, PhD student, Shabo Yang, and it's in collaboration with my good friend um, and, and, a, and a scientist at University of Michigan. His name is uh, Professor Jehi Lee. So it's a collaborative effort, and uh, we are pretty excited about this, and we want to start a clinical trial as soon as possible.